Hello there. So, today's video is going to be an Elastrats video. Whoops. Okay. So, basically what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you the greatest places that you can place your Ella mines. Now, I'm only placing them in this, or placing them for this room in these areas because these, this has allowed me to get countless aces within the past few days. Not necessarily countless, I'd say more like five aces. But I, then again, I've only played this map about seven times, and out of those seven times, I've gotten five aces with Ella because of just this one room that we've been protecting. Now let's go. Um, let's go and show you. Now let's just uh, unmute this. Ah, okay. There, frosty video started. Okay, so first spot is right here. Frosty, mm -hmm. break open the hatch now. So you just want to be around here, and then you just run in, and then you just manage to get that kill. But then stay there, Frosty, and the second area is... Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so then you could blow a hole open right here, and you could also shoot them when they enter from there. Okay, yeah. the second spot for your Elamine is in this location. Like, in between this... And once they drop down the skylight, which Frosty will now do, they get hit and they have to aim either here, into here, or over here. Now that's three locations that you can kill them from. And that's probably maybe multiple kills you can get. Okay, now this third spot for the Elamine, you just want to place in between these presents. And when the enemy repels in, like so, you could just shoot them from here. And since they'll be disoriented, you will either be over there or you could shoot them from here. That's two different areas that they'll have to worry about. But then the third object or whatever to put into the mix, you could just sit around over here and add an extra area to rotate around. No, you really are pretty indestructible up top with this strat. I mean, you could watch one entrance point. If you wanted, you could just place another element right there. That's two entrance points. And then you could watch all three main entrance points. So, now for the next objective, which is bakery. So for this first one, I'm just going to place one right here. You're not going to place it before, you're just going to place it as they enter into bakery, because they're probably going to shoot it from those windows if you en if you place it beforehand. So I just usually sit on this staircase right here and throw it. Now, when your teammate comes by, you'll just be able to like shoot them, or you'll be able to look at a window. But the second area for it is either right here if they're pushing up faster than you would like, and that is kind of nice when they do that, because then that leads to you getting about two kills usually. Now the next spot is over at the white stairs. So you know they have a tr traitorous ash or fuse rushing upstairs to get a fuse planted. What you can do is place one cluster charge right here, which they cannot see from the staircase. So then they just push by and then they'll get hit by it. But then, while you're doing that, you could watch it from here. Oof. You could watch it from there. Or you could just watch the staircase if you know they're coming up from up here while they get hit by it. Because then they'll back away to the bottom. And when they back away to the bottom, that'll end up uh, getting them killed. Okay, so since you're mainly playing upstairs over at those stairs and white stairs, what you're going to now do next is have one Elamine placed around this corner. Maybe up there if you want. And the enemy will come push it if they know that you're hiding right here. They'll come push it like so. And they'll just end up getting hit by it eventually. Like poof. And then you'll have the power to push them that way or that way fast since you're kind of hiding around here. And then you can just go back upstairs to go to the other Ella mines that you had placed. So, this first spot 
is right here on this sign that I have never noticed ever in my life. So then when they go push by, if you're sitting around this corner, then they're just gonna get hit by it, and you're gonna have a chance to either kill them if they push you, or kill them if they walk back, because if they walk back, you know. So when you're playing this room, you're gonna wanna basically hold up top, and the first one you're gonna wanna do to prevent you from to prevent them from killing you is placing it right there and the enemy will eventually push and you're just gonna be sitting over here like normal when the enemy is pushing but then when you hear that mine go off you can just come over here like so and then you can just kill them yeah pew 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 they'll die and they won't be able to kill you because you'll be sitting right here and now this next mine would be right, right here okay so you just place the Grismont mine right there and you're going to be sitting right here watching this while they drop down. When they drop down, cough, cough. Oof, I actually got hit by that. It doesn't normally happen, but anyway. Oh wait, that's only because of this hole right here. But anyway, when they drop, you'll just be able to jump up and turn behind you and then just eventually kill them. But yeah, don't punch a hole in this. It'll end up in you getting hit by the mine like it just showed cough cough now this last mine that you're gonna place is sitting in this corner right here I know it's the same as the last one but they're gonna be ending up breaking the hatch if they really wanna kill you if you're stopping them from entering into you here that much but then you know you're just watching this and then they're gonna drop hatch and then they're gonna get hit by the mine and when they do that it's gonna be able to push them like this See, they hit it, then you're just going to be able to push them like this, and if you had an impact mine, I don't, you could just throw it right here, I wouldn't exactly recommend that though. And yes, that will be that for that room. Okay, so for the cigar lounge room, which let's just pretend the hostage is a biohazard container, all you're going to want to do uh, is place one right here. And you've already, you've already seen the enemy drop down there, so you already know what that's going to be like. And then you're also going to place one on the Christmas tree, in case they decide to repel into the room for some stupid reason. And so you're going to have that one there. But then what you're going to do is blow a hole open right there for later. And you're going to place one under this hatch, which you've also seen. And I'm just going to show this demonstration when my teammate drops down the hatch. So then since you have that hole right there open, your teammate's gonna drop, or not teammate, your teammate's not supposed to get hit by it, your teammate drops down the hatch and they get hit. And you either have the chance of getting somebody from there, or shooting someone from over there. And if you really needed to, you could just rush over here and shoot people over there. And you could also hit somebody while they are on the staircase like that. So, this is going to be it for this video. So, yeah, I'm just going to let this clip of me pulling off an Ella Ace in the background, but um, let me know what you think about that recording while I'm playing thing, because I got an Elgato and I kind of think it's going to be a little better to do the record as I play thing or for the videos when I'm by myself. I just kinda think that's gonna be a better thing to do. But um, also if you wish to play with me just friend my... not fully green, that was banned, I'm sad because of it. Just friend my Nixie or special recruit account, I'm gonna start including my special recruit account in the description just so that you know how to spell it even though it's literally as it sounds because I play a lot on my special recruit account and it's just about diamond which is why. But um, I also have my own Discord server, I don't expect too many of you to join in, but if you wish to know when I stream, because I'm streaming on Twitch, and if you would like the link to my Twitch, that will also be in the description, probably in a comment I make, but yeah, that'll be it for this entire video, just let this clip play, and farewell.